In this video, we're going to be looking at using the Arduino microcontroller with a two-channel optical encoder. This advanced encoder will enable the Arduino to tell the distance, direction, and speed of a DC motor. Let us look a little closer into this item. And I'm your host, Louis Laughlin. All right, what you're seeing here is a DC motor. This came out of an indus a big drafting style printing machine. Here's your shaft, of course. It's a DC motor. If we look in the back, you will see this large slotted metal disc. It has hundreds of holes in it, and I think 200. 150 or 200 or something per around the whole deal and you'll see how the disc spins. What you're seeing over here is a set of photo detector. It's a photo detector module that counts the number of holes in the slot and it also counts and it will put out a DC or digital output to channel that will give us the relationship of the output from the slots. It has two things. It will tell us direction and it will tell us how many times the uh, photo cells in the uh, detector assembly was broken. So this way we can tell both direction and how far it went. As the clip showed it we used a single disk encoder instead of the normal two disk. Um, this is done by the advanced uh, focusing and lens system of the HEDS 9000 encoder. Let us take a little closer look at that item as it's coming up momentarily. Here is a block diagram. It has a two channel output. Um, that is digitally compatible, uses a 5 volt power supply, and as you can see we have a particular plastic lens system that eliminates the use of a stationary rotor disc. In addition, this gives you an idea of how a single disc moving through the slot in the HEDS 9000 will um, output two digital signals. Pictured here is a test assembly connected to an Arduino Mini. Um, this is a 12 volt battery. This is a similar motor with the identical optocoupler setup that I talked about earlier. Here is an Arduino and these are a set of scope probes. Momentarily we are going to see uh, what the output waveform on the uh, motor photosensor pairs are and then we'll discuss how an Arduino can figure out direction and how far it went. Let's focus in a little bit on two LEDs. Okay, we have two LEDs. If you look closely, I'm just going to turn the motor shaft by hand. Clockwise, you should see the left LED light up. If I spin it uh, counterclockwise, the right LED will light up. Clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. All right, let's go to an oscilloscope and we will see how the Arduino is able to tell what direction the motor is t being turned so it knows which LED should be lit up. This shows you the relationships on channels A and channel B, which we will be shortly seeing in actual real time on an oscilloscope. All right, you're looking at the output on my oscilloscope. Up here is channel A of the photocoupler output. Here is channel B. 
Okay, if it's if it's down here it's zero volts. If it's up here it's five volts. It's set for two volts per division. That's not too important. What we need to do is look at the relationship between channel B and channel A. If you look at channel A, here is your rising edge. It goes from zero to five volts. But at the same point down here at B, we are still at zero volts until it's about halfway through the uh, half cycle of channel A. This is how we know that I'm going f clockwise in that particular motor setup. If you would look at the um, LEDs over there, you will see the appropriate LED. How the Arduino knows, we, uh, can tell, is it's looking for I've connected channel A to an Arduino interrupt, and we'll discuss the software a little later. I connected channel A to uh, one of Arduino's interrupts. Anytime this goes from zero to high, the Arduino will stop whatever it's been doing, uh, and it will look over here at channel B. If it knows, if it goes from here, it's going to look there within microseconds and figure out, well, this is low, so it's a high-low relationship. Channel A is high, while B is low. We know what direction it's going in. Now, let me disconnect my motor and reverse the battery leads, and it will go in the opposite direction, and you will see that um, a change in relationship. All right. Look at our channel A now. It's going. It's uh, going here from high to low. But you notice that B is high. This is how it knows that it's going in the other direction, and that's how you tell them apart. So I can give you some drawing on whatever, but this is what it looks like in the real world. So that's. You, again, note where um, A is going high in relation to B. Let me reverse the battery leads again. And you notice A is going high, B is low. And then from there you can do all kinds of things. You can actually count the number of pulses and that will tell you how many times the uh, how far the motor has moved. Uh, you can uh, time the pulse width and the pulse width will tell you how fast the motor is moving if you know the number of slots for every 360 degrees. Thanks for uh, watching my video. For more on in this and other types of electronics, uh, visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.